Rage Racer. What's up, guys? Rano GT4 here, bringing you my next let's play of Rage Racer, the third game in the console Ridge Racer series for the Sony PlayStation. So, <clears throat> quite a few changes with this game as compared to the other two. One, it's going to be a lot longer. Um, see, we have Grand Prix and Time Attack here, our usual save and load and option screen, which is just settings and shit, blah blah blah. So uh, let's just go to the Grand Prix mode, because that's the meat of the game. And we get greeted with this little scene as soon as it loads. There we go. So this just kind of provides a little backstory, if you will, to this game. I don't know why this racing game needs a backstory, but whatever. It's cool, so, you know. There's that. And uh, one thing with this game is it definitely has a... At least to me, it has a much darker tone than the first two games. It just feels not as always cheery and like yeah, and cheesy and all that shit. But like, you need to win these races and shit. I don't fucking know how to explain it. The scene pretty much sets up the tone of the game. So yeah. There's that. And then... Game loads. There we go. And here is our main menu. Alright, so, um, one big change that's gonna make this game actually long is there are multiple classes of cars and Grand Prix. They're starting off with the first GP, obviously, Class 1, Calm GP. We have three new tracks Mythical Coast, which is the short track, Overpass City, which is actually the longest track and probably the most difficult, in my opinion. And then we have Lakeside Gate, which is not quite as long as Mythical Coast, but it's a little bit easier. So yeah, there's your circuits, and uh, notice at the bottom there, there's uh, actually prize credits in this game called EG, I don't know why. But yeah, this is the first game in the series to have currency, and as far as I know, the only game. I don't exactly know, but yeah. Instead of having to unlock cars, I just buy them, so I have to skip that step in the LP. And let's just uh, do it. It's like our first race in Mythical Coast, and this is our starting car, the Nade Esperanza. There are four manufacturers of cars, five classes in the game, and uh, see here only class two cars or grade. I can purchase, but I can't because I have no money. Here's the age, which is. Uh, based on handling and grip, and then there's the Lizard, which is based around acceleration. So there's that, and then there's the Engineer Shop, where we can upgrade our car to the next class, but I don't have the money for that, obviously. And then there's the Customization, one where we can change the tires, where we can make it more drifty or more grippy. I prefer grip, because drifting in this game is uh, <laughs> a bit of a bitch compared to the other two. Change your transmission. There's actually a few cars in the game that's manual transmission only, but yeah. Then you can change, kind of change the design of the car. As in the team logo. You can actually make your own custom logo, but I have no creativity, so I'm just going to go with some defaults here. There we go. Rage Racer. Then get a sample background. I like that. So I'm going to use that as my team logo. When you go to the paint option, you can customize the logo to your fittings. You can draw a cock on your car or something. Team name. There's only six slots open, so I'm just going to go with RSC for Rhino Speed Center, of course. So yeah, that just goes on the top of the windscreen of the car. And then we can change your car's livery. Is Every car has a two-tone paint or two-tone livery. I'm just going to go with black. And, uh, blue's not quite as dark as I wanted. Oh, here we go. Here's dark blue. Alright, take that. And there we go. That's, that's all for the menu, so let's get started with the racing. And, uh, note even more changes. Start your engine. And so I'm sure as you know that since this is not just one or two GPs, I'm going to be doing the entire GP in this Three, in a single two, segment instead of one, one race per segment. 
And uh, here we go. The first race of Rage Racer. Let's take on the bumper cam for a moment here to show the drop down of the rear view mirror. I don't know why, but I really like that. But we're going to be using this for the LP. So you can actually have something to look at, aka my car. And uh, as you notice there's quite a few. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm already off to a wonderful start. Yeah, the uh, collision physics in this game are a lot less forgiving than the first two games, if that's even possible. You, you lose a lot of speed if you collide with anything. And most of the time, if you collide with a car, you pretty much go to a complete stop, almost. It's really goddamn annoying. But anyways, the HUD differences. Of course, we have the usual lap times and position, but uh, notice there is no track map. And there is also, instead of a segment-based time limit, we have a total race time limit. So, and the time damn it, yeah. And there's an example of how difficult it is to drift in this game. Sometimes it just does that. I try to drift as little as possible when I play this game. So far, this has been a horrible first race. But whatever, I'll, I'll get used to the shit. Hopefully do better. That was just one lap, but made it up to six. And uh But yeah, the total race time the time limit is always ten minutes, and these races are far, far uh shorter than ten minutes. So um the race the time limit is never an issue. Just never. Also I'm doing very bad right now. Extremely bad, actually. So yeah, other than that shit, and there's a little bit of graphical upgrade, obviously. This game looks pretty cool. For a 1996 game, it looks really good. Here we go. And there's a little bit less of an emphasis on winning. I mean, yeah, you still want to win to get the best prizes and prize money now, since currency is a thing. But, um... You can pass each race just by finishing on the podium. So, there's that. I'm going to win every race because I want to get gold trophies. Because after each uh, Grand Prix, you get a trophy based on your performance. So, um, if you win all three races, you get a gold trophy. And I want a gold trophy. So, yeah. Gonna win every race. So there's the first place car. Um, about the actual racing, it's also a little bit of a difference. Instead of, you know, pretty much all 12 cars being all 11 of your opponents being a relative threat, there are, in this game, there are, I'm not counting you, there are four fast cars, if you will, and then there are seven what I like to call back marker cars where their purpose is to just increase the field size, and they're extremely slow. In fact, here's the last place car right now. And particular ones in this class are, I don't think, are actually attainable in-game and drivable by you. They're just generic, really slow car. So there's that. But yeah, usually, uh... All the fast cars utilize the different manufacturers and shit, but since first class consists of only the nade, all the fast cars are nades. Okay, it's the last stretch. That stretch. And yeah, I pretty much explained everything about the game in one race. How the hell did I manage to do that? Get this nice little replay at the finish with uh, the last bit of the race, however long this music lasts. That's how long the replay lasts. I'm going to show it off this one time just to show it. So I kind of like a lot of the camera angles in this. These, this however, not good, but there's some pretty good camera angles for the replays. And stuff. There's the RSC on the uh, front windscreen of my car. <laughs> and the team logo, which is just Ridge Racer logo with a rear background. 
Boop, boop. Also, I really like the, uh, the announcer for this game. A lot better than the first two games. I don't know. There's something about her voice and the, I guess, auto-tune or something that is used to make it more computerized. Also, here's the result screen. And I get 400 EG for winning the race. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I really like her voice. It fits this game, it, I think. So let's just go to the second race of the GP at Overpass City. Don't need to change any settings, so let's just get started. Racers, start your engines, and let's get it on. Yeah. Let's get it on. Here we go, race. second race. Two, one, go! I always, I always upshift the second gear way too soon. It just bogs me way the fuck down. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, so considering this is the first class, and therefore, it's easy. That's one thing. That's another thing I really like about this game is this game has a better fucking difficulty curve than the first two. As in, it actually starts off pretty easy to get your feet wet, and then it gets retardedly difficult later on. I like that. Plus, since, you know, you don't exactly have to win every race, that also makes this game easier, so where you can just finish second or third and still move on. And uh, this is another thing this game has. Very, very steep elevation changes. Like, holy shit, these tracks just... Oh my god, the elevation changes are retarded. But yeah, especially on this track, because of that city section. Oh, I actually did a good drift, holy shit. I almost never do that in this game. But yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the games I've grew grown up with when I was a child. Grown up with when I was a child, that made no sense, but this is one of the games I played when I was a child. Back in my uh, daddy's PS1. The. My father. Yeah, they had. Yeah, the brothers had Rage Racer, and I used to play the shit out of this game. Even though I was younger and therefore was worse at it than I am today. At least I think, hope so. Or, yeah. Not down. I'm up to third place already. Two laps to go. But yeah, and then I don't know what happened, but it just kind of I didn't have Rage Racer anymore. I had Rage Racer Five, but I got a PS2, but I no longer had Rage Racer. So it's actually been a while since I've played this game. in the lead, and we're not even halfway through lap two. Like I said, first GP is really easy. So that's a little backstory of me with this game, in case you wanted to know. Nice drift. Car just did not drift. All right, I actually almost made it through the turn. That's that's the weird part. And up this bridge, very uh, weird bridge. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And once again, nice drift. But I was going slow enough to where I made the turn, so I'll take that. So I'd rather make it around the turn like that than drift, because you're deep. Oh my god, the physics in this game. I love this game to death, but these physics are absolutely horrible. Like, they're a step down from the first two games. But anyways. Okay, final lap. Cool. Anything else 
else I can mention in this segment since this is the first segment. Oh, well, I don't really know. I know this LP is going to be longer than the first two games combined. That's the damn true. There's the last place car. Uh, speaking of, I should mention a little thing about the replays in this game. The replays, they actually only show your car and I believe the leading AI car. Don't quote me on that part. I don't know if it shows multiple AI cars, but it at least shows the leading one. And that was a wonderful turn. Fucking decided to drift to the right even though I didn't even close to pressing that button. So yeah, if you're like passing somebody or if you hit a back marker on the replay, it just kind of shows you randomly slowing the fuck down for absolutely no reason. It's actually kind of funny. Damn it, almost made it. Really narrow. I'm surprised I didn't hit that car. Okay, it's the last race. Keep it up. All right, two races down, one to go in the calm GP. You get it. Going to skip the replays nice from now on because there's really no reason to watch them. 550 EG for Overpass City. Longer the track, more money you get. So yeah. Is that and final race of Calm GP going to Lakeside Gate. Let's go. Racers, start your engines and let's, let's get, get it on. on. Three, two, one, go! And I fuck up the launch again. I'm really good at doing that, apparently. This game has a really weird... It's not as cheesy as the first two games, but it has a uh, very interesting soundtrack. I actually like it for the most part. Like when playing in-game. So I'm effectively in fourth place because I'm not just not counting the back marker cars because there's no need to. It's essentially a five-car race with seven moving roadblocks. I really like those waterfalls. They actually look pretty good in this game. Game got a nice oh, fuck. Well, there we go. Hit a car. All right. Like I said, moving roadblocks. Anyways, this game got a really nice graphical upgrade compared to the other two or the first two. Fuck. I see. We're gonna hit hit a car once. Start hitting every car ever. I'm the fucking greatest. Well, that was a very subtle drift, but it made it around the turn. Whoop! It just kind of spits us out there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Early classes actually start out pretty slow. Top speed's only 102. Also, one another thing I like about the announcer in this game, she doesn't fucking heckle you like the other, like the Rage Racer Revolution fucking asshole. Shit. Well, that almost went well. Actually, almost got hit from the front there, and um, 
One thing I don't like about this game's physics, if you get hit from behind, sometimes you'll actually slow down. And then it'll just call it, cause a chain reaction smackathon for a while. And it's really goddamn annoying. Yeah. section. Nice drift. Thank you, car. I love when they just don't drift even though I do nothing different. But whatever. And one lap to go. I thought this was the last lap for some reason, okay. probably because I took the lead so quickly. I will keep my cool. I'm trying to like downshift when I'm at pretty high RPMs to keep my speed up up these hills because holy shit. There's something these cars don't like doing in this game, it's going up hills. And not only are the uh, elevation changes pretty fucking extreme, the speed gain and loss from going up and down these hills is also pretty extreme. This is a bad place to get. Okay, he's on the left side, good. Usually the back marker cars are right smack dab in the fucking middle of the road. And really annoying to pass them in certain areas. Take note every not straight away. Guys are being very cooperative. That one wasn't. He was right smack dab in the center of the road. Nice drift. Alrighty. At least I was so far ahead that it doesn't matter. Finish! First Grand Prix complete. You get it. Great, Great job. job! Now, something added on to the result screen here. Get 500 for winning, and then 500 for completing this class, and I got the gold trophy. That trophy's yours! Yeah! Sweet. And then we get this nice little scene. This class up scene, I guess. Da, da, clear calm GP, get on to the next class. We will in the next segment, stay tuned.